Hello everybody, welcome back to another video once again. So, really quickly before I get into this video, I'm just, this, this video, I'm just gonna say that this should be my final video for a few days. Um, I know that, uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness comes out in like, what, like two or three fucking days, so, uh, if I'm feeling refreshed enough, I will get into that, but... If not, a uh, fire starter comes out the following week, so I will be getting into that one. But without further ado, guys, let's talk about DreamWorks' new film, The Bad Guys. So The Bad Guys follows a group of five criminal friends. Uh, there is a snake, a wolf, a piranha, a shark, and a tarantula. And they are capers. They steal things. They're... Uh, some of the most notorious bank robbers. And where this film starts out is we see this uh, group of criminals going after this trophy called the Golden Dolphin Trophy, which is a trophy that every thief has gone after and has notoriously failed. And as this uh, story uh, goes a little bit forward and starts to get started more, we actually see these uh, criminals uh, eventually end up getting caught. And once they do, uh, the leader of the pack, ha, which is the wolf, he ends up coming up with a scheme to manipulate, like, this professor who's, like, honoring the award or whatever. And then the professor's like, hey, this would be great for the community. Uh, you have my word. I'm gonna turn these notorious bad guys into the city's best guys, into the good guys. So the bad guys are like, okay, well, let's just go with this bit, uh, put on this act, and eventually will be rewarded the Golden Dolphin. And that's pretty much the story there. So really quickly, I'm not going to say that this film feels like it doesn't have a script. It definitely feels like it has more of a story than an actually structured script. Uh, there's a lot of times in this film, especially, you know, while we're actually waiting for things to unfold, where I'm just like, okay, so they're just kind of spitballing here, aren't they? And yeah, like, I don't know why these animals are just kind of like walking around like normal people in a normal people world. It doesn't really explain that far. At first, the film opens up with like the snake and the wolf at a restaurant, you know, and they're acting all casual and everything. I'm like, okay, well, so the bad guys are like these five animals who are just able to, you know, act casual and walk around normally like fucking humans and people are just fucking scared of them okay got it whatever that works i get it and then you find out the governor's like a fucking fox with like a fucking eyebrow ring <laughs> and yeah the professor is this fucking james corbett have an ass fucking guinea pig and i'm just like okay yeah yeah well i, I you fucking lost me officially i, I okay i'll go i'll roll with it and then the wolf he has this thing, this, like, tick, where if he accidentally does something good or if he, like, pleases somebody, his, like, tail starts wagging and he gets this, like, fucking high from being good. And so throughout the movie, he's, you know, divided between that shift and how it, you know, makes everything else unfold and where his story arc goes. And apparently, I want to say this is from, like, a kids like book series from like what i was looking up and uh yeah i'm just gonna say this feels like dreamworks is very most like different film for many reasons and it's not just the fact of like what kind of like story this is focusing on like you know it feels very like geared towards children there's a lot of slapstick like children's kind of animated humor that you would expect but, like, where its story actually centers on, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know if this is quite directed at kids. Maybe it's trying to be for, like, kids and adults. I mean, it's definitely geared for kids, but the humor is very choppy. The humor is very abrupt. Uh, it's not exactly that rewarding. It's not very original. It's just kind of, like, what you would expect out of, like, a DreamWorks movie where DreamWorks is like, oh, here we go. Well, here you go. Another kids movie, kind of like fucking Turbo. Like, who the fuck asked for Turbo? It's kind of like how I feel like this one. I feel like this movie wasn't really needed, but they just kind of did it, and it was just like, well, here you go. The thing I think that I can say mainly about this is that it did have potential. And again, you know, it, it, it does some things well. It has some twists and, it, and some turns, and it's got some moments that, you know, are, are fine. You know, like, like, for example, there's this, like, moment where... This, like, scene where, like, you know, a a after uh, the professor, like, recruits them uh, and he's, like, trying to teach them to be good. There's, like, this montage of, like, he's 
teaching these guys like acts of kindness and they're just like failing comically and then like you know like like as far as like the storytelling again i feel like it has a fair story but like the script was like very choppy as well like i get it like early on it it addresses its thing where like the uh the bad guys are like you know i wish that people weren't just always like scared of us like it would be nice if we could just interact sometimes just normally with people without them getting freaked out and then of course you know these bad guys have those moments where they're like well what if like we actually were good how would that change how people view us and so it's like yeah i get it there's like basic enough message it's a basic enough story with basic enough humor but in the end that is just kind of how i overall felt about it it was just kind of a basic film where dreamworks was just kind of like well here you go Overall, guys, I'm feeling a low 2 out of 10 for the bad guys. Well, here you go. So, yeah, uh, the bad guys, um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Uh, it. It was actually, like, doing better as far as box office goes, like, over massive talent in The Northman. Why? Why? I mean, yeah, it's a kid's film, but, like, really? Robert Eggers? Come on. So yes, guys, that's going to do it for my review on The Bad Guys. Uh, I don't recommend this film that much. And just watch Shrek. Shrek is the balls! But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this review. Um, is This should be my last review for a few days. Again, I know that Doctor Strange comes out very soon. Uh, but if I don't get to that one, I will get to Firestarter. But yes, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the video as well as the bad guys if you guys did see it. I will see you in the next one guys. I hope you have a safe night and you're all doing well. Thanks so much for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.